The government of Germany is supporting Ghana to build a 25 million euros facility to recycle electronic waste and electronic components in Ghana. And the first phase of the project will be completed by the end of this year, 2022. According to Dr. Kweku Efriye, who is Ghana's Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation. So in this video, we want to share with you why the government of Ghana and the government of Germany are constructing this electronic waste recycling facility. Consumer electronics are now part of our day-to-day -day lives. In fact, they are now a symbol of modernity. But they also produce a lot of waste, including toxic materials, and they are threatened to the environment and human health. In Ghana, the problem of electronic waste is getting worse day in and day out because most of the electronics entering the Ghanaian market are secondhand products. And we all know that secondhand products have a shorter lifespan, which makes them a quicker journey to wastelands. In Ghana and most African countries, we have our own way of handling this electronic waste by some people collecting them from our various homes and selling them to people who have the knowledge to recycle this e-waste into different things. This method provides jobs for thousands of people in Africa. Even though they are helping to create employment and at the same time, they are also helping to reduce the e-waste in our various countries, but their method of processing this electronic waste is very poor. Yeah. And because of their poor working condition, they create land and air pollution. The government of Ghana recognized this challenge and they developed a legal framework to solve this problem in 2016. So in the year 2017, the federal government of Germany decided to support Ghana with an amount of 25 million euros to build a facility to recycle electronic waste and electronic equipment in Ghana. The aim of these 25 million euros was not just to build the facility to recycle electronic waste and electronic equipment, but also to help reduce the environmental impact of electronic waste and transitioning this waste through proper and sound procedures. Now, in 2022, the first phase of the facility is about 65% completed. This was made known when the Ghana Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Kweku Efriye, toured the facility in Accra to check the level of work done so far. Dr. Kweku Efriye said that the project would do a lot of good by increasing the country's revenue, creating employment and preventing health hazard. Dr. Efriye commended the technical team handling the project for the good work done so far. The project is being constructed by Memphis Metropolitan Limited and Nana B. Dankwa is the senior project manager. He also said the project should have been completed this month, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic and other factors, including unavailability of materials and workers among others, it delayed, but they will be able to complete construction by the end of this year. Mr. Dankwa explained that the facility is sited on a three acre land and have a temporary storage, recycling center, weighing bridge, guide house, and transformer among others. The facility would focus on collecting, recycling, and reselling of all types of electronic waste, including cables, mixed batteries, thermoplastics, and cathode ray tube TVs. Thank you very much for watching. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions inside the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Ghana videos like this. My name always remains Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful day and see you in our next video. Makrao.